to another Elliot Web Forecast uh, video day. My name is Eric. Today is the 20th of December, around 2.40 p.m. New York time. And today uh, we're going to make uh, do another video about a very interesting point that many traders uh, seem to like, which is what is called, in our view, the market nature. It's well known that humans, we tend to, uh, we have a human nature, right? So market also comes with a human nature. Uh, we, it is a concept that we do apply a lot in earlier web forecast, and it's because we something that we got from the earlier web theory is the patterns. But the patterns are nothing more than uh, the nature of the market. And understanding the patterns is something that is going to get uh, traders a degree of comfort in which traders are uh, comfortable enough to trade the oscillation of the market and understanding the market nature and the patterns allow you to know the areas and know based on human nature that we tend to overreact to things and that we used to say, I mean, uh, sometimes humans, we always get to, too late to the party knowing the market nation allow you to avoid all those things. So in the video, my goal is going to explain the S&P and try to understand, explain to our followers, not our clients, our followers, trying to explain then how we see things in any web forecast, which is most of the time is different to the rest of the world. It's something uh, that we look at it with peace and understanding. And we don't tend to overreact. So uh, let's go for the video. And we're going to explain, first of all, the market nature. This is based in any way over here, the most uh, popular patterns across the board, which is the advance in five weeks and three weeks back. For us, it's very simple. The, the, the golden rule of the earlier wave theory for us in earlier wave forecast is that the wave three needs to have extension regardless of the wave one and the two. And if the wave three do not pass the 1.618 extension or one or two, for us, it's not considering a wave three, right? So technically, this pattern is telling you that the market advanced in five waves and put back in three. And consequently, uh, when you see that there is five weeks, the market tend to pull back. When you see that the market reach three weeks, the market seems to rally, right? So that's the one of the patterns that goes with the market nature. Five out, three back. Five down, three out. And consequently, repeat the pattern over and over again. Now, another pattern that is a very seen across the market is the what we call the seven swing structure which is the WXY pattern. This pattern is telling you that you have one, two, three waves, three backs, one, two, three, that makes seven. So usually uh, this happens when you see five waves into one side you see the three or seven uh, wave back, and it is a corrective pattern by nature. We, in any wave forecast, we see the market different to the rest. Most of the waivers think that the market only advances in this way, and they always correct in this. We look a different way. We say that the market advances in five and advances in three, but always correct in three. Very technical, a uh, a criteria right there that we are priced, right? So usually the market advance in sequence of three, which is the so-called 3711, or in sequence of five, there is the 5913. There is no other way. So there is no reason to overreact to the market if you understand this simple concept. That is three and there is fives. And the market always going to bounce. So, understanding this, eh, I'm going to explain to you guys the over here. The I'm going to explain to you guys over here 
the chart of the S&P. Most of you guys uh, have seen, and most of you guys, they are maybe overreacting to the idea that the S&P 500 has declined a tremendously, saying 2943 to 2475, almost 500 points since the peak that it happens here in September of this year. For us, it's no, nothing new. Why? Because you guys see that blue box, right? That's an area that identify the market nation, right? So this blue box right here in the S&P is nothing more than the area in the grand super cycle that contracting the chart a little bit come from the all-time lows in the S&P right here, since last century, right? So the S&P did an advance. We were calling the S&P higher forever. Since this day, technically, on 2010, we say that the S&P is going to reach 22,000, which is the bottom uh, of the blue box over here, right? And we do understand now that the S&P needs to define in the grand super cycle that you guys see in there, the S&P needs to define one thing. If the S&P is going to do this pattern and it's going to make a 4 and a 5, or if the S&P is going to train higher in the all-time highs, into all-time highs, and this pattern, of course, in burst to the outside, and that we are ending the C, and then we're going to get a biggest correction. As of right now, the S&P do not have extension. Because why? Because it's still below the 1.618, the 3180 area. So as far as the S&P is below 131, don't nothing deny that the S&P cannot be ending A, A over here, A, B, and C, and that the S&P now is gonna enter a biggest correction, the correction, the, the, the biggest correction that we ever seen. Remember, always gonna be bullish. People tend to forget one thing. A thousand years ago, we were living in the woods. We didn't have houses with AC, airplane, computers. We didn't have anything. So human nature always is to the outside. Yeah, but it's a possibility. No question asked that the S&P that by human nation has reached the grand super cycle blue box started a process something like this that it can take it all the way to the thousand it's possible we we don't deny that we know that as far as it stay below 3180 that's a possibility now what is the issue here that many traders do not understand what they're trading the whole plan is being picking the top in the S&P without the understanding that since the moment that the S&P took this highest over here, the target was the 22.22. We have documentation showing our charts going there. Now, the S&P, like we've been saying, is in decision time. And the S&P needs to define either this path or this path. Again, market nature is the key. We are not here to force in the side and we gonna downgrade remember it's either this path needs to in order to do this path you should be here and it needs to break 3190 3180 on the other hand it can be this path inverse to the outside and you are just finished w and that's why you see alternative w right there Right? So, I don't know if you guys can feel the peace in my voice. I'm not in stress. I know all the reality. Our members in LA World Forecast know when to enter the market again. Because you know why, guys? Because they understand. We do understand the market nation. And we transmit the market nation to them. Many of you guys have seen our charts posting in social media. 
and you guys have seen the blue boxes. The blue boxes are a refreshing of the market niche. Now, downgrading the S&P to the daily chart, what do we have? Two possible patterns in market niche. First, from the peak in September the 21st, the S&P entered right here, the blue box. In other words, if the S&P is going to do three weeks only in the daily, you are already in the, in the area when the C should be ending. Now, the area, area goes from 2480 to 2272, right? So far, the decline is in three weeks and in lack extension. And then, understanding the market nation, you apply the same criteria that I'm explaining in the higher super, in the grand super cycle. This is just a four hour cycle or intermediate cycle. So, for me, as far as I stay below, I'm sorry, about this level here, 2272, which is the bottom of the blue box, I will consider in this. A three-way, the same way that for me, this over here is a three-way. Now, chasing highs here, it has a risk, but nothing sell, nothing say to sell, right? Because these people are holding. You see the trend line there is holding. So as an earlier way, nothing say sell it. People that been selling are the same people that been selling it. Here, 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 and here. And of course, a picker always going to get it right at the end. Now, for us, it's very simple, market nation. And understanding that there is the possibility that the S&P is just doing three weeks back, which is what we call an ABC or a, 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 a seven swing lower. An ABC, if it's three, I think that the S&P is doing these patterns to the downside. How do you see it? It's a seven swing structure. And in the daily chart over here, you can see three wakes down here, four, five, six, and seven. So the S&P from the peak in September the 21st is entering the blue box. This is 22 and change in the grand super cycle. In the grand super cycle, the S&P so sellers almost are the 1.618, but it's within the box. So the buyers are at risk as far as they stay below 3180. Over here is the same. As far as it stay about this 2272, any sale right now it shouldn't get you nowhere uh, to the downside. Now there is a detour here, and I'm gonna explain it which is knowing the market nature, what is your alternative view? The S&P and the Dow, they makes a new high here uh, compared to instruments like the DAX, like the EBEX. Some of the world indices never took the January pick. The S&P can do a flat, right? This is a flat, which is a peak, a relative new high over here, and a decline in five ways. It's an irregular structure. In that case, we won't be calling the flag. Technically, a, we can say that in order for being a flat, it has to break over here, and then the market will rally, and this is just a way for flat. So, it's the same that it did in 2009. Everyone look over here, you see the 2009. Three, perfect, three weeks back over here, seven swing structure to the 100%. It did a rally, which it was a big way and a strong reaction. People in 2009 that do not understand the market nature, they were calling here a C way lower to 200. We know we were calling here a rally here because we do understand that this is a flag. So what I'm trying to explain in this video is that the piece that you guys receive from me is that I know how it works. We know how it works. And we know that as far as I stay about 2272, this is a buy here. 
from here the s p either is gonna rally and this was the way for as far as it stay about that weekly trend line that you guys see in there right about that weekly trend line it can make a rally to 3180 and 81 is going to, it's gonna be surprised only the few understand this on the other hand I know that by my nature also the if the if the if the grand super cycle ended as an ABC the S&P won't be a flat and the S&P it will rally again and it will go over here even though then it can start turning lower many of you guys do not understand what it rally here we do because right there the S&P also did reach over here the market nation seven swing structure and that's how the market works so some of you guys can ask what do we say that the market is about to is about to bounce because we do understand that now the market entered already at 25 28 70 is the stock area the market entered the areas in which the sellers in four hours here is going to start taking profit and the smart buyers they're going to start entering here and even if you are a smart seller you should be taking profit here that he can see 2401 that he can see lower yes but right here the honeymoon of the sale from here is just completed as we do in this video and now it's gonna be a struggling for the sales the, 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 the decline lose corrected in the short cycle overlapping so understanding the market nature it gonna save you a lot of money it will allow you to understand I can push the gas I can get out and in understanding that the market always move in five followed by three with the condition that three has extension one or two or the market move in threes which is the WXY it makes your life very simple because ABC is what we have in the grand super cycle of the S&P as far as it stay 3180 ABC or WSY is what we have in the four hour surprise is that it is a flat from here and like in 2009 the C way is going to develop into five weeks and that this is the 2000 the correction from 2000 here three three and five that's a flat right here yeah that can be taking place also over here in the most bearish scenario in the way after the flat it will bounce again so as you guys can see and you guys can follow us when you guys follow us you guys can see that we tend to uh, to go secure and uh, and show a position on a strength in our forecast and the reason is because we do understand the market nature either 5913 which is the important sequence which followed by three or either the market trend in 37 11 15 19 23 and on and on and people do not understand that people do overreact people thinking at this stage that the war is coming to the end yes it can be coming into it can become into something bigger but as far as the s p is about that trend line and sorry right there honestly nothing has happened now a, reje a rejection a, a, a rally from this area in another let lower then you can start saying that the cycle has ended and that the s p can even see the biggest correction that we ever seen in the history on the index and the s p can go even from zero over here it can even see 14 and 11 34 maybe in three or four or five years from now it won't be that fast because people remember the correction in 2009 but the correction 2009 really started in 2000 so it won't go to 1400 11,000 in a matter of a year no it's gonna take years because if this ended as a W this correction will be bigger in time than this one because it's a higher degree
So I hope you guys understand now and understand a little bit better the market nature. 3, 7, and 11, 5, 9, 13. When you understand that, there is no overreaction as a human in the market. And you understand when to enter, when to get out. That's what we say. The blue boxes always give you about 85% of chance to traders. You know, guys, you know why? Because they are based on the market nature. Honestly, a uh, honestly, uh, uh, is very uh, new to many of you guys. It's many. Uh, it's very new to many of you guys understanding this. Uh, but with this, you're going to have a lot of peace as a trader, and you're gonna take away the human nature, which is ten to overreact to everything and you're gonna trade as professional understand it that no matter what the path the market is about to bounce as far as 2272 is in place the flat is denial and the market can bounce either to new high and look for 3180 or to fail around 2713 and then it turns into something bigger peace of mind if you like the video you want to learn more a business right here elliotwayforecast.com we have a great promotion for the end of the year two months for the one for the price of one or you can take the free trial believe me you're gonna get a better trader you're gonna learn you won't be a uh, the whole day watching news watching tv you're gonna understand what is happening as a human you were never gonna get everything right but at the end of the day Understanding how the market works and their own market nature is the key to everything. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the year. I wish you all a happy new year. Merry Christmas to all. And for next year, understand the market nature. It's going to save you a lot of money. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you.